channel. I hope you all are doing really well. So today I thought I would do something slightly different and focus more on a fashion video. I know mostly on my channel I tend to focus on luxury handbags and accessories, but today I thought I would do something slightly different. So I'm going to be talking about items that I've recently acquired for my winter wardrobe. So I have mentioned before that I have recently moved to Melbourne from Queensland. So up in Queensland, it's summer all year round. There was never really a need for anything wintery. So now I have been trying to acquire more winter items. Right now there's really good sales going on in pretty much every store that you could go to. So I thought I would share with you what I have recently acquired over the last few weeks. What I'm also gonna to try to do is show you how I plan to style these items just so that's a little bit more interesting to watch. So let's get started. So I purchased myself a black blazer. I feel like in my wardrobe I was lacking a really nice black blazer with a collar and just a button up. So I found this at Q. Q is actually one of my favorite stores for work clothes. It is slightly more expensive. But I do like the quality. I feel like the pieces of clothing that really last long, especially in my work wardrobe. So I decided to purchase this. I will link all the items that I mention on my blog. This particular blazer is made out of majority polyester as well as viscose. What I have noticed, I have worn this already, is that it does catch dust quite a bit, so I'm always having to run the lint roller through it. But overall, I feel like it's quite a good fit. It is a bit big on my arms. I'm gonna actually get this adjusted. But overall, I actually really like this blazer. I already started wearing it because I was lacking a black blazer, but I do like it. Along with the black blazer, I've also been trying to purchase some plain black tops with a little twist. So I found this top also from Q. It's just a plain black sweater top with a peplum sleeve. I don't know if you'll be able to see it so much as I'm holding it up, but when I wear it, you'll be able to tell what I mean. And this is just a great top to go underneath blazers, pair it with pencil skirts. I've been wearing that quite a bit like that. I feel like it's a plain classic black top with a little twist because of the arm. So I feel like it just makes your outfit a little bit more elevated. This is probably one of my most worn pieces for work. Again, I have already started wearing this. It's just a classic staple item in my wardrobe. And I think these kind of tops are something that you can really add to a capsule wardrobe because it's something that can go with pretty much any, like any pants, any colored pants, any blazer or skirt or anything. This would definitely be a key piece in my collection because it's something that will go with everything. Then I decided to spruce it up a little bit and I purchased this top. So this particular top is from Veronica Main. Veronica Main is also, I'm pretty sure it's Q's sister company. Um, it's also Australian. I love all the details on this top. So it's just not a plain, boring maroon top. It's got a little ruffled collar as well as these ruffled sleeves, which just add that little extra touch to your outfit. And I love the color. This color is perfect for winter. It's dark, but it still gives a pop of color. So I really like this. I haven't worn this yet, but I need to give it a good steam and wear it. So this item is actually one of my sale finds. The other items I actually paid full price for all of them, but I, I'll link them below. I'm pretty sure some of them are on sale. But this item is my first sale find. So this is another blazer. This is for work as well. And this is from a brand called Saver. So I purchased this at David Jones on sale the other day. They were having some really good sales on at David Jones. So this originally retailed for $349 and I got it for $229. So I was pretty happy with that. I feel like that's a pretty okay price for a blazer. Blazers tend to be more on the expensive side and this material feels really, really nice and it's just very soft and if it actually feels really nice on. I don't feel uncomfortable in it. But it's just a beautiful piece. So I really like this. I feel like this will look really good on, with a full black outfit and just add this on top for a nice pop of color. And this has also got a really nice fit. The arms on this one is actually perfect for my arms. I don't need to tailor it or anything like that. And it also fits quite nicely on the waist. This one also has a one. No, it's got a double button closure, so it sits across like that, which you will see in the cutaways. So really happy with this purchase and I can't wait to wear it. My last purchase for work is something that I'm not 100% sure about, so I would definitely need your help on this. Please comment below whether you think I should keep this item or not. And it is a coat from Zara, which is going to be a bit hard to show you like this, but this is the masculine coat from Zara. This I paid full price for. I got it in a size small and basically what I wanted it for was work when I'm going to and from work. 
Right now, I have the only other brown coat I have is my Beverly coat that I wear time, but I feel like that's a bit too casual for work. So I wanted something a little bit more dressy and a little bit more neutral. At the moment, I'm wearing a longer gray trench coat. So I wanted to basically purchase something a little bit more neutral. I went for brown because I feel like my clothes to work is usually black. So I feel like I want to just add something of color over the top just to and from work. And so I decided to go with this. I do really like this. However, I'm not 100% sure if it suits me. So please let me know what you think about this. This jacket just has one button. I do love the one button look. It's just a straight jacket. I love the material of this also. They have a few different brown jackets at Zara, but for me, this one seemed the nicest and maybe the one that would last the longest. So let me know what you think about this coat and whether I should keep it or not. I'm going to quickly show you the things that I bought that weren't for work, more for the weekends. So the first thing I've got is this green florally dress. This is from the brand We Are Kindred and I purchased it at Maya. This was also on sale. I can't remember how much exactly it was, but it was pretty good. You probably have seen this on my Instagram. My favorite thing about this dress is the pleated detail. So on the arm, it's got like this flute sleeve with the pleats on it and also the bottom is all pleated. That's probably my favorite part of the entire dress. The thing I don't love as much about this dress is the top. I feel like it doesn't fit on me as perfectly as I would like to, but I just love the bottom and the sleeves that I just had to keep. This is quite a popular item and it is this age t-shirt. Not this particular one, but t-shirt that says age. I've always liked the look of it, but I can never justify the price. I think they originally retail for about 200 Australian dollars. So as much as I love t-shirts, I'm trying to cut back down on my t-shirt purchases. So 200 cannot be justified, but this was on sale and I just had to get it. It was also extra 20% off and it's just a plain gray t-shirt that has age written across. And it's just a simple tee that's going to work for me in winter. And summer. It is a thicker material though, so I think it'll be better in the winter. It was reduced to 99 and then I got a 20, further 20% 20 off, so a bit expensive for a t-shirt, but it is really cute. Now I'm planning to style this t-shirt is with another skirt that I bought from Age, which I absolutely love. It is this grey skirt, again with the grey t-shirt that's going to go together. I'll show you in the cutaways how I'm going to style it, but I absolutely love the skirt. So this I also got 20% off on. I have the tags on this, so I can tell you the prices quickly. So this originally retails for $295. They dropped it down to $189, and I got a further 20% off on it, which was great. So it's just a beautiful A-line gray skirt with white floral. I guess it's a white floral. with It's a leafy pattern almost, and I just love these colors. I think it's perfect for winter. How I'm planning to style them is wearing with stockings because obviously it's going to be cold, but I'm trying to stay away from jeans. I feel like the easiest thing for me to do in winter right now is just to wear jeans and a jumper, but I'm trying to go out and get a little bit more creative. So I feel like skirts like this can do that for me. And the last piece that I bought from Age is actually my favorite item ever. I love it so much. I've already worn it a few times and it is this skirt. So it's kind of similar to the gray one, but this is more of a beige color with a lighter blue floral print. And then it's got this waist belt with the black stitching on it. And it's got the ruffles on it, which I love. So how I have been styling this particular skirt is going for an all black look and just wearing this with a pop of color. So I wear black stockings, black shoes, and a black knit with this skirt. And I just love the way this looks. It is such a pretty skirt. And the best thing about this skirt is it also can be worn in summer. I love versatile pieces that can be worn in summer and winter, so really happy with this. I don't have the tag on it anymore because I've worn it, so I'm not 100% sure how much it was, but I know that it's still available, so I will link it below. So that is what's new in my winter wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.